Well, this is the first time I've started an online assembly. I hope you are really going to enjoy it. The year leaders have had such great fun recording this assembly for you and it's something that we're going to do regularly because we really are missing you and it's important we keep in contact. So many of you have engaged with that online learning and done so well. I've looked at some of the work that you've been uploading on to show my homework and the effort that you're putting in is absolutely fantastic. So once we are all back together in the academy, it's really going to be good to really spur that learning on. So thank you for all your efforts. It's absolutely brilliant and the teachers are so pleased. With regards to building, the new building is going to be ready um, for September, so that's really good. And it, when you have your English lessons, that's where the English lessons are going to be, is in the new build, as well as your Spanish and French lessons. So you will see that new build and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's really, really good. And I hope you're all keeping well and safe and that you're following all the guidelines from the government, which we all are with the safe distance and also keeping alert, all those phrases. And I've seen so many of you engaging with those activities where we've been clapping um, for the NHS and all the key workers and keep engaging with those activities because it's great to see because it isn't just about the learning. It's about all being one as the Belfair's team because we really do miss you. But anyway, enough from me. Enjoy the assemblies. Hi Year 10. Um, I really missed you. I'm so happy to be presenting assembly. Uh, I can't believe, believe that it's been eight weeks since I last spoke with you, uh, informing you of the academy closure, reminding you to stay safe, which I hope you have been, and encouraging you to maintain a routine and continue with your studies which are so, so important. Because you must remember you are year 10, but as I've always said to you, that's temporary. You are going into year 11. You are living through historic times. Um, and despite the challenges that we face, these times, people seem to step up. Um, and people never cease to amaze me like our awesome heroes here. Now I love that word because I think awesome really describes the contribution that these people are making for us. How they're so selfless, how they're on the front line um, to keep us safe and to keep the country ticking over. I mean, even, you know, look at the postman delivering our parcels because I know that we still need things. We're still ordering things online. We can't go to our usual shops. So the postman is delivering those to us. So we need to be really grateful and thankful, which I know we all are. And I know that you are. Um, I, I, I think it's important uh, that we continuously recognise our NHS staff because they are really making us safe our doctors, our nurses, our carers. So please, and I know that you're recognising them when you come out and clap every Thursday, as do I, with my family and with my neighbours. And the children across the road come out banging their pots and pans. So it's very important that we don't just come out and just clap, that we really think about why we're clapping, why we are recognising those people that are doing those wonderful things for us. I wanted to share with you, um, we received an email from Mrs Barrett to let us know that over 30 welfare students, ex-welfare students, have gone on through our health and social care programme to become nurses and doctors, and they are currently working on the front line. So it's really important that, that you understand that those people are doing that, and I think it makes you more connected with welfares in that way. So remember those 30 when you go out and clap on a Thursday. And there we are, Belfair's standing strong together. There's some pictures there of, of Belfair students and the community clapping for our awesome heroes. So how have you been awesome? How have you contributed at this time? Think about it carefully. In a few years from now, or many years from now, um, your children will be asking you, what did you do during lockdown? I want you to be able to tell them lots of things and lots of ways in which you contributed and many ways in which they were so positive and so selfless. 
Now, I know that you've been completing some fantastic work because your teachers have been emailing me and I can see through showing my homework. So, well done to you. Um, it's difficult trying to keep a routine, but you are doing that. A lot of you are maintaining that. So, that is absolutely brilliant. That's brilliant preparation, like I said, for you moving into year 11. So, yeah, keep dropping that in there. I need to remind you of that. Um, but it is important that I stay connected with, with you through your parents. They've told me how you're mowing the lawn, how you're getting shopping for your local um, neighbourhood, um, how you're walking the dog, how you're helping with household chores, doing the cooking. That's really so supportive and particularly as I know that a lot of your parents are key workers. So they're out and they're trusting you to do those things whilst they're out at work and contributing contributing to, to, to the country. So thank you very much for that and thank you to your parents. So because of this and because of what you've been doing, I'm going to clap you. And every time I come out on Thursday, when I'm clapping for our NHS, when I'm clapping for our key workers, I'm also clapping for you, my awesome year 10. So thank you. So how are you going to continue to be awesome? How are you going to continue to contribute? Well, the other year leaders and myself, we got together and we thought, we need to remind them of our academy values. We need to speak about those because it's really important that you remember that during this lo lockdown, you are still connected and a big, big part of the Belfair's community. So look at our values. So you can continue to be committed Having commitment is very important, important that you are committed to your studies, that you are committed to being you, that you are committed to looking and, and looking at the future. Respect. Have respect for everybody. Respect for your family, respect for what you're doing, the respect you have for your teachers, and importantly, respect for yourself. Excellence. Now I know that that is our value for year 10. That's our phase, the excellence phase. So it's really important that you remember to be excellent, to continue to be excellent. And I wanted to remind you at this, at this time that we are still looking for our excellent student award. And there's an excellent um, student project that has been launched by Mr Evans and I know that we have some students that have contributed already, so well done to them. So just think about if there's something that you would like to, to make us aware of and you can do some research into at this time and produce something, maybe an outstanding diary or maybe something that you've contributed that you would like everybody to know, then do that through the Excellent Student Project. Let us know about it. We can celebrate it. It's important. We want to celebrate you, particularly at this time, because it lifts everybody's spirits. Self-belief. Believe in yourself. Believe in what you're doing. Believe in your family. And be supportive. Because if you believe in yourself, you can believe in what everybody else does. So it's really important that you do that. And strength. Stay strong. And I know that can be difficult. You know, isolation is not a good thing. It's gone on for quite a long time and we've still got a few weeks left. So you do need to be strong. But the way you do that is to stay connected. Stay connected with people. And that's why I'm, I was really excited when I was asked to do this assembly. It's quite nerve-wracking looking into a camera, but I'm imagining all your wonderful faces in front of me. But I was excited because I can, I can connect with you in some way and encourage you to be strong. So remember to do that. So, I was talking earlier about our spotlights. We have been inundated with spotlights for the fabulous work that you've been doing. Spotlights that nominations that have come from your parents, like I said previously, about you supporting parents with what you're doing at home and within your community. And I just wanted just to, to mention a couple of names there. I wanted to mention Shannon. Shannon, you have been producing some fabulous work. And I absolutely loved your work for textiles. Shannon produced a skirt, which um, I will get some pictures out on Show My Homework um, so that everybody could see that. So, so well done, Shannon. Jasmine, Daniel, Marley, 
I know you were nominated by your parent because I know that, that, that you've been having to have isolation and lockdown for much longer than most of us. So well done to you for your strength and your perseverance and resilience. Henry and Louis. And we go on and on. Jamie, I think your name is mentioned every week. Ben and Obi. And there are some names popping up there that would never pop up normally, that I haven't had nominations from before. So well done, a particular well done to you. Daisy, Elliot. I could go on and on, but I want to mention some names for all of you. So a big, big well done. So, year 10, some final thoughts for you. And I, I, I've been saying this for a long time now because I wanted to sort of sow the seed, drip feed you with the thoughts that you and throughout year 10 is preparation for year 11, a most important year in, your, in the academic calendar. You need to be prepared. What better way to do it? What a better time to do it? You have all of the time to do that now. You can look back and think, oh, I used that time in the lockdown wisely. I used it to prepare for year 11. Because you, you might be year, year 10 now, but you have year 11 around the corner. Please don't stop being awesome. You will always be awesome to me. Be strong. Stay safe. Stay at home. And most important, importantly, stay focused on your learning. See you again soon. Thank you, Year 10.